Welcome to another Power World video. Well, today I am actually standing outside the Grisbolt Tower because yes, you can actually capture him again. I'm about to show you how with a few other really handy little glitches along the way. Just glitches, exploits, etc. You can call them what the hell you want, but they make the game fun. They're quite fun just to research online and find out for yourself and test out. But anyway, I'm going to crack onto them right now. I'm going to go back to my own base. So the first glitch kickstarting off the video today is a capture glitch. So it's technically a capture one and at the same time it involves you just soaring you up high in the air. So first of all what I will show you is I'm going to hit this guy because if I shoot him I'll kill him. So I'll get him down to pretty weak and then I will throw a ball at him. Right there we go. So I'm just going to throw the ball at him and you literally climb on top of the ball. And once it captures him, it sends you absolutely flying in the air. Perfect for getting around the map at early stages. Because I can just go anywhere. This is absolutely brilliant. So, as I just said, the boss tower capture is back. It never went, really. There's just a very, very slightly different way of doing it. So, what you want to do is, just like last time, you want to go to the small settlement. It's very near where the starting area is. If you've done this glitch before, you know exactly where it is. So, you spawn in and then just get yourself a one wanted level like I've done on screen. I've actually done this for Zoe and Grisbolt. So, I've now just teleported to that boss fight. Again, same as last time, once you've done that, you then want to just run in and skip the cutscene at the start. And once you're there, you just want to run around. This might take a little while. Uh, it depends what level you are as well. You might be able to just run around and then just let him chase you around a little bit. When he gets shot by one of the guards who have actually spawned with you, they've followed you there. Once he's been shot by them, he'll then run into the corner like last time and literally just throw a power sphere at him. And you should catch him. The XP has been nerfed a little bit. For some reason just the XP has been nerfed. But the actual method itself still works. I don't really understand. But there we have it. It's very very good. I'll just quickly add this in. It's not really a glitch. It kind of is. But it's not really that game breaking at all. So with the durability on your food. You see it's got 4 minutes left. All you need to do is simply just at the top here. Click on sort. When you click sort. It sorts everything up to go right to the top of your bag. And as you can see, it just resets the timer. So I click sort again, resets the timer. So the next little glitch slash exploit type deal that I've got to show you today is one with your pals. So I've got two dead pals here. And rather than waiting the 10 minutes, you can go to this thing here. I think it's called the pal cage, the viewing cage or something like that. So you just go into it, interact with it. Stick your pals in like that and they actually are revived and they're back so I can put them back into my inventory and He's alive. There we go. Very very simple stuff. It's so quick and easy to do So last but not least this might actually be one of the best ones There is different materials in this game are really 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 important For example iron is really really important or ingots should I call them uh, So the best way to do it is this is a duplication glitch So what you need to do is you need to be in your base with a chest right here. So I have 61 ingots in here sat with a few other materials. So what these are going to do, I'm just going to go on to build, call a box. It says I have 61 ingots. So what I do is I'm going to cancel that now. I'm going to crouch. You need to go to the edge of your base. You now need to build again, take the cooler box out. You can do this with anything you want to actually duplicate. As long as you have the materials beforehand, then you're all good. So you want to go right to the edge. So if you go to the edge, you can see it's really tricky to do actually. So I want to build it and then as you build it you run off to the left. So I'm going to get it right there and then run off. Okay. Boom. So we then stick it back in the chest. I have 101 now. So if I build this, it says 101. So we're going to try this again. There we go. So it should be able to. Boom. There we go. So you can see it slightly move when you built it. So then you go back to your chest. 101 becomes 121. So you can keep doing this for as much as you want just to get all the resources you need because iron can be a pain to get sometimes. Yeah, you can do it with anything you like as well, so it's actually brilliant. So yeah, that was about everything. So thank you very much for watching. If there's any more glitches that you might know about that I wasn't aware of, please let me know down in the comments below and I might cover that in a video. But thank you very much for watching and goodbye.